Watch out, Cupid. Some furry friends really know how to charm healthcare workers. Today, the therapy dogs from the Helen Woodward Animal Center snuggled up with ICU and emergency room workers to spread some love this Valentine's Day. CBS 8's Abby Black shares the impact therapy cuddles are making on our healthcare heroes. Biggie has a big heart, and for our healthcare workers, they give so much every day of the year. Therapy dogs are giving them just a little piece of love on Valentine's Day. Ready for her close up? Girl, you're showing your teeth. Maisie's smile is contagious. Yeah. Oh, is that the spot? Yeah. Oh. The therapy rescue dog is really feeling the love on Valentine's Day. I mean, she sits here, she gets massaged, she gets told she's beautiful, and she gets to make somebody smile. Her smile is shared with Sharp Memorial Healthcare workers. Aww. As much cuddle therapy as it is for the pups. Yeah, this is Maisie. Please Hi, come and Maisie. pet her. It is for the ICU and emergency room workers too. Oh my God. And the best way to pet some love on healthcare workers on Valentine's Day. It's wonderful for us to have an opportunity to come down and do something peaceful in the midst of all the busy admissions. Even the quick wag of a tail is enough to relieve some stress. Oh, it's such an awesome break. Like, this is the best thing I could ask for. Jasmine Chana is a surgical ICU nurse at Sharp Memorial. You know, a lot of times we see these service animals come and see patients and help them feel better. But for us, too, it's like, it's such a joy. That joy is being felt by Helen Woodward Animal Center's Pet Encounter Therapy Program. I was listening to how amazing you are. Where Maisie, Biggie, Cody, Jazzy, Belle, and Wilson are delivering some of Cupid's soft snuggles. It's also the caregivers. They spend their whole lives dedicated to caring for those who need us most. And why wouldn't we be here for them to show them that same kind of love? That little piece of love can have a big impact on healthcare workers who give so much. I'm happy. I'm ready to take on the next of my shift, you know, the rest of the 10 hours or so. Feeling all the fuzzy feels, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8.